We're going to shake it up a little bit and talk about developing world education. And the good news for us in education is that the vast majority of students in the developing world are in school, but the sad reality is most of them are not learning. South Africa was ranked bottom of the world in terms of maths and science. How can Africa's most developed market be ranked bottom of the world? We are in dire straits. I think fundamentally we've just got such low expectations for our children. We make all the excuses in the world, our kids can't do this, our teachers can't do that. Minimal accountable measures. It's definitely not a financial problem, it's a system problem. We now are looking to find a solution for the country. We aim to provide high quality education at an affordable cost. The teachers need to differentiate instruction. The children need to have self-paced, individualized learning, and we need to decrease the total cost to educate. And that's what we do at Spark. And how do you use technology? Can you just tell us a little bit more about the, the learning labs? At a very high level, the children get introduced to a concept in the classroom. They then leave the classroom and they go into what we call as a learning lab. In the learning lab, they are interacting with adaptive software to allow for reinforcement of what's being introduced. What lessons do you think can be applied from the Spark model internationally? That we actually can produce high quality education at a very affordable cost. And even with our constraints, our human capital, our financial constraints, we're still able to compete. We're making excuses, we're blaming, we're waiting for government. No one's owning it. And no one's feeling that it's actually their responsibility to make South Africa a better place. And if you ask me why did I start Spark, I'll say because it's my responsibility. As a citizen of the country, if I want to live there in the future, I need to make sure it's a better place.